welcome to Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota, located off of Lake Superior. Today I get to show you the 2023 Grand Design. It's the 231 BH. Like always, we're gonna start on the outside, work our way on the inside, and you can tell me what you think. So this here is a Grand Design Transcend Explorer. It comes in at about 37 feet long and weighs, nice pass-through storage, we'll give that a shout out, weighs about 7,738 pounds dry weight. Double axle, great for towability. Nice, great big, large awning. Outdoor kitchen. You get, and this is always the harder part for me, because I have short little arms. You get a two burner stove top, little extra space, your mini fridge. Let's go ahead and take a peek in there. Fantastic. And your propane quick connect is that little blue dot Boop, right there. Spare tire bumper so you can store your black tank hose windows for the bunks. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera ladder that goes all the way to the roof so you can go ahead and do your roof maintenance, check on things, brush off those pine needles from that great campsite. Now this Travel trailer has one slide in the living area. This travel trailer, super, super fun, has one and a half baths. I cannot wait to show you that half bath in the bunk room. There's your convenience center. What's nice about these is that you can go ahead and, ugh, you can put your, see you can see all the way down to the ground. You can put your hoses and different things inside so when you're hooked up, you're not having to um, leave that, that door open. You can close that door and those hoses can still be plugged in. Now when you purchase a camper from us here at Bullion RV, we do give you a brand new interstate battery. We fill your propane tanks for you. Shout out to the power, power tongue jack in the front. Now, as you can see, this travel trailer does have two entrance and exits. We're actually going to go in down on the end by the bunk house or the bunk area, the bunk room, and then we'll come back out in the bedroom. So, nice long compartment for shoe storage as you first walk in the door. Look at that. It has for your sweatshirts. I put my keys there. I thought that was a really nice handy thing. Mom, this is super long. My arms, I can barely even touch this Grand Design bag. Um, and it still has quite a ways that it can go back. Lots and lots of storage space there. Here are your controls, toggle switches, which are fantastic. There's kind of a sneak into the living area. We're gonna start in this fantastic bunk room. So starting out, you do have storage. We're gonna work our way here. Storage. Okay, that's a little hard to see on this camera, so I apologize. Um, you can sleep all kinds of people, kids. There's a ladder that gets you up to the top. Lots of storage space here. You have storage there, you have drawers, more drawers. I mean, these drawers are quite large too. So one hard thing about bunk rooms or bunk spaces is that there isn't always space for the belongings of whoever's staying in those bunk rooms. Now, working our way into the half bath, you get your toilet, porcelain, porcelain toilet. There's a lot of good reasons why porcelain is better than plastic. 
porcelain cleans easier, more residential like. Hooks on the walls for those swimsuits after you've been at the lake. Maybe those wet towels after you've been at the lake. Nice fan in there. Okay, and then this has, this bunk room has a pocket door. So this, I gotta unsnap it up here. This pocket door also, ta-da, opens up to a whole nother wardrobe, coat closet, broom closet, maybe for mops. That's always a good thing too. There are, or a Swiffer, those are really good. USBs, you can plug in your camera if you're gonna go sightseeing and you wanna charge your camera, charge your phone, charge your tablets. All right, working on into the living area, you do have a couch that does fold down for additional sleeping. So you can sleep, I think it says seven um, on the website because you can sleep more on this wonderful dinette. We're gonna, because we have the ability to do this right now. Look at all that storage underneath there. It's hard to see with the shadow, but you get a lot and lot of storage. Okay, so from there, okay, one more time with those nice big windows. Brings in a lot of light, really handy. Okay, entertainment center. There is your Ferion radio. You do have speakers outside, so you have zone one and zone two. Lots of storage there. Look at that, all kinds of sizes. That's your fuse box. freezer and fridge. I'll open those in just a moment. Storage. And then if you have other things, that's a great place for a, a dog dish maybe. Lots of space. This is a 12 volt fridge and freezer so you can keep things cold as you're plugged in going down the road. Microwave. This is a three burner Ferion stove. Nice cool accent lights. There's your oven. Now a couple great things. Pots and pan storage. Couple great things about just this this little area here is first off you have a lot of counter space there's a lot of space where you can put um, different you know maybe that's a instapot a crock pot a coffee maker um, all those things there you have that counter space to do that travel trailers don't always have a lot of counter space look at that size you can fit a whole kitchen garbage in there you know, that's a big thing. Nice, big, deep sink. Pull down faucet. Very nice. Sometimes when I do these videos, I have a hard time <laughs> grabbing the handles because I'm trying to look how you guys are seeing things to make sure to make sure you guys can see things good enough and then I miss the handle. Makes me look a little silly. All right, now this has a walk-through bathroom. So this is your main bathroom. It does have your shower. All that room in front of that toilet, fantastic. Once again, can you hear that? Porcelain toilet. domed skylight so you do get a little bit more headroom now sliding shower door shower curtain self-cleaning so you're not getting any of that mold or mildew water build up I really you know what let's do this give me just a moment we're gonna 
we're gonna problem solve here. Look, can you see that? Look at all that storage. I'm using my, my light on my cell phone to give you guys a little bit better of a look. It's hard, there's some dark spots in those deep cupboards. Okay, sink, lots of counter space. You don't always have a lot of counter space too in these bathrooms, that's great. Nice space for a garbage can. You do get some extra little shelves, kind of helpful. Towel rack. Oh, see there it was again. Depth perception. Ah! Corner. Hi friends! So, moving on up to the fans. That there is your AC is ducted through so the AC does come into the bathroom and works its way into the main bedroom. That is just a vent. I shouldn't say it that way. Not just a vent, it is a vent. Wardrobe along the side. Nice emergency exit window. This is where you would put your TV, TV backer. You've got your cable and your outlet up there. I'm gonna show you how nice and big that wardrobe space is. Drawer. Queen bed. I'm gonna show you this storage underneath. A couple of things, Grand Design likes to do things just a little bit above everybody else and putting those hydraulic arms, it seems like something very simple and easy, but putting those hydraulic arms on the storage under the bed is huge because now you don't have to use your shoulder or your head to hold this part up while you're digging stuff out of that. How nice is that? There are spots on either side with outlets and USB so you can plug in maybe a CPAP machine or something to that effect. There's your other door. Oh, and another transcend right next door. Give you one more look around. Look at all that room. When you're coming from this angle, it's really nice to just see how much space this Grand Assign Transcend Explorer 321 BH has with one and a half baths, 37 feet long, and it's 7,738 um, pounds dry weight. So you're really getting such a great travel trailer. Um, you know, in up maybe a little bit bigger because it's 37 feet, but not the weight, which is fantastic. So if you'd like to work with me on this unit or maybe any other unit, my name is Haley Johns. Give me a call, 218-740-4997. And as always, I'm willing to go the extra mile to help you camp in style. Have a great day.